Hello my soccer universe! Well, at least for 45 minutes, maybe a tad bit more, we saw what this England team can do. And it looked glorious. It looked really glorious. And full disclosure, I have been on the Dutch side. The Dutch are one of my teams that I usually support. So yeah, but half an hour in, I told my daughters, you know, although I want the Dutch to win here, England deserves to win this one. I mean, they just ran their show. That it was only one more, the halftime was a little bit against the run of play. And in the end, I have to say, this was a win of the squad depth of England. They have so many wonderful players. And I don't get why Southgate always waits until the 75th minute to make final substitution. When he can influence the game in so many different ways with this squad. It's always a little bit too tentative. But in the end, squad depth shone through and this is what got England through to the final. A final that, you know, against Slovakia we didn't see really coming. And yes, there was also the individual quality going through. And yes, there will be a lot of apologies. And you know, it is also silencing the critics making the final. But again, you gave us a taste what this team can do. And it's even to the point that now many people feel if England showed what they show in the first half, they actually have a chance against Spain. It is not a foregone conclusion. But I also have to say, a. Finishing. You should have scored more goals in the first half. B. I'm not sure if Ronald Koeman's tactics didn't help England as well, and especially in substitution when Memphis had to come off. Yeah, he tried to make it more solid, but it actually invited even more of England coming on. As for the Dutch, overall, I have to say, this is not a vintage Dutch side. Definitely not. And they have a very interesting record. They reached semifinals six times already at the Euros. Uh, it's, that's where it usually ends. Only once in 88 in Germany. That was probably the hope for them that they will do it again. They made it to the final and then won that whole darn thing. But it's a very Dutch thing that, you know, you reach a certain level, but you don't go beyond that. World Cup finals, semifinals at the Euros is usually the end stage for them. But this team, this was definitely the ceiling for them. This is not a vintage Dutch side. So England should have beaten this team any time. But just a pure fact that you're thinking that the Dutch could have gotten at England tells you a story how bad England have looked the entire tournament not for the lack of talent but really the way they played it didn't look good for England like at all but hey they show us what they can do and they deserve the final before we get into the match though jersey matchup bingo this one was easy we all knew Holland in orange England in white with navy pants made this look so much sweeter. The only thing that you could have improved the whole thing is if you went with my favorite Holland uniform, which would be white pants. That would have really topped it off, but this was not in the cards, unfortunately. But it looked great nonetheless. Let's talk about the action in Dortmund. I mean, so many Dutch fans there. And I absolutely love that they got the homestand for the Borussia Dortmund fans. The yellow wall became an orange wall. Absolutely gorgeous. And yes, there was a section that was a little bit better filled with uh, Dutch fans. There was another more neutral section where you saw some especially German fans, but you also saw some Austrian fans in there. Yeah, some Austrians being overly optimistic that they will reach the semi-final against England. Tons of Dutch fans there. It seems like half of Holland slash the Netherlands emptied into Dortmund to celebrate a potential final, the second one that they would have in Germany. But you know, when the mood is always so high, 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 it never works out. In any case, the game even started very well. Although England applied early pressure and started positively, the first goal came for Holland when Rice is pressed by Xavi Simons, loses the ball, Xavi Simons runs onto goal and outside of the box, even though he's unbalanced, takes off a wonderful shot into that right in front of the orange wall. It's 1-0 for the Netherlands. Big celebration. The stadium went wild at that point. Maybe not as wild as when Turkey took the lead, but the stadium went wild. However, England had the right reaction and were in the better team and immediately it came to me, you know, France took the lead, lost. Turkey took the lead lost or maybe you scored a little bit too early on that one because you're facing a much better team and i said it in the open england showed bellingham rice Foden. they ran the show of that one even kane's presence and his passing made a whole lot more sense than it did the entire tournament it looked like a team a team that works well together they can put pressure on an opponent and maybe the early goal is also what they needed to finally show us that maybe the only thing is that while when the equalizer came it was fully deserved and there was always danger that there will be a goal scored but the goal should have come already sooner 
I feel. Now the equivalence to me was a little bit contentious just by the feel of it. By the letter of the law, this is a penalty. I just don't like these types of penalties where two players are going for the ball and the striker hits the ball a little bit sooner than the defender. And yes, the foot is high, the sole is open. It is endangering the player, I understand. But Kane got the shot off. <laughs> This is what annoys me a little bit there. You know, you get the chance and then as a backup, you get the penalty. It did not feel like a penalty. But it also felt that this is the right way to go for the game. And Kane perfectly executes and converts that penalty. Even though Verbruggen knew where he has to go, there was no chance that he's going to save that one. Absolutely perfectly taken penalty. England should have taken the lead before the half. I mean, Phil Foden just weasels himself through. The Dutch defense gets the shot off, beats Verbruggen, then Dumfries saves it off the line. There was so much pressure. The Dutch didn't get a foot on the field. Half an hour in, there was a corner kick where then Dumfries hits the upside of the crossbar. But then Foden also dances through and hits the outside of the post in a way, in a really well taken move. As I said, England should have taken the lead. Also part Part of Holland probably not getting foot on field is that Memphis Depay injured himself and did not look good. He was not well in the game and he had to be taken off. But that Kuman then brings on Ferman for his striker. Yes, I can see hidden shuffles. He puts Marlon on, on the center. He arranges a little bit, makes the midfield a little bit more solid in a way or tries to do that. However, this invited even more pressure from England and they were lucky to get out with the 1 1 at the half. And in the half, Kuman does what he always does. Yeah, if in doubt, bring on Wout. Maybe this would have worked, but I would say for the next 10 minutes, although the game got slower and slower and slower, England again controlled and did the passing. And actually, it reminded me in a much slower pace of what I used to see from Holland, where you pass, 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 and you wait for the weakness in the attack, and then you strike and get it in. So I always felt this is dangerous, but then it ground down to a walking pace and got slower and slower and slower and slower. And then what really was weird that the game then flipped, that suddenly the Dutch brought on pressure. There was one chance for the Dutch, where after cross into the box, Van Dijk gets his foot on the ball and it goes towards goal where Pickford saves it. I think there was another one like that as well. But yeah, Holland had a little bit more of the ball, but they didn't use Wout Weghorst so well. All the defense worked really well. They took Gakpo completely out of the game. Also have to say that, and I hate to do it, but I didn't like the referee. Not because of the penalty, but at the end of, of the game, whenever the Dutch had something promising, he always found a way to call a foul, which didn't seem right to me as well. Around the 80th minute, why so late? Southgate does then eventually react. He takes a phone and Kane, who at that point had ran himself ragged. He brings on new forces with Palmer and Oli Watkins. Yes, Oli Watkins and not Ivan Tony as he did against Switzerland. And in the end, those two combined. Before the change though, Saka thought he had already the winner, but Luke Shaw was slightly in offside. So there was the danger there, although at that point I felt that the Dutch had a little bit more of the game without being really dangerous. And then it's exactly those two combining. Rice plays a ball to Palmer. Palmer sees there's Watkins in the box, passes to him. Watkins is only with the fry, takes the ball nicely, makes a nice turn through the legs into the uh, far corner. And it's the winning goal for England just as stoppage time started. And the stoppage time was only two minutes. Tells you also how this game ground down to a very walking pace. Kuman then brings on Broby and Cerksey, but it didn't really matter much. They didn't even get a shot off. Ingen brought this home quite easily. Yes, it was plus two minutes, but you know, with celebrations, all the substitutions that are coming, it went to over five minutes in the end. England, as I said, deserve it. I feel a little bit sad for my Holland, but you know, the way this went, I think the right team reached the final. And in this final, they will not play a Spain side. And even yesterday, you would have said that no matter who Spain will play, and I will do a proper preview of the final on probably Saturday, Spain will win this easily. They are the much better team. Well, these first 45 minutes of England have shown us that England will have a shot. And let's face it, Spain have been sensational. But just by the players themselves, England have much higher quality players. This is the one thing. England have such a good crop of players there. They can chop and change and still be very, very good. Whereas I'm not sure the same can be said about Spain. But, you know, Spain have been the best team of Toto Roma. They should be considered the favorites. However, I give England a good shot. I think England have a good chance. There's hoping that England will open up. And maybe if it happens like in this game, that Spain score early. 
maybe there's something happening. Maybe the Ingen will have to come out of their shell. Maybe, just maybe. So yeah, but I will do a preview of the final as I said. For now, please let me know what you thought about this semi-final and how you see the final going. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.